This video is a, another video by request. 168 grain Acubon long range out of a 30 out, or not 30 out 6, sorry, out of a 308. Um, it's a load I currently hunt with and have harvested elk with and I like. I'm going to be shooting it out of my Ruger M77 with a 16 and a half inch barrel. Part of the reason is is this compared to my 24 inch barrel should be real similar to about a 70 to 100 yard shot on the high velocity load. I'm going to start with the low velocity, flop my blocks and shoot the high velocity load. Yeah, you can definitely see where I exited my gel block there. I'm going to shoot another low velocity load. Although you can see the uh, overall performance of that wasn't bad. That was 1,288 feet per second. I got some that are loaded <laughs> slightly hotter. We'll give one of them a try here. That one veered out the other side of my block. Going 1,430 feet per second. But as you can see, that's perfectly ad adequate wound channel before they veer. That's not uncommon to see at lower velocities as that bullet's mushrooming back. tend to cause them to veer more so than on the high velocity. I can definitely go over some measurements here quick too. You have it coming through that leather, leather and that piece of wood and it's not really starting to open until about the two inch mark. The four inch mark is where you're getting that explosive wound cavity. Going to the 12 inch mark before it tapers down and both of them exiting the gel somewhere around 20 inches. Let's make sure I'm looking at just this one on this side. That's going to be about a three inch permanent wound cavity by two and a half inch. And on this other one, even though moving a good hundred plus feet per second faster, is really really similar so let's go ahead and flop these guys and we'll shoot to higher velocity load
And all this chunk is is a piece that I, uh, when I cast new blocks, I always cast extra because of the loss from shooting them when I recast them. And I found I catch a few more bullets by using that, setting that on top there. Would sit back up here where I'm know for sure I can shoot through a solid chunk of it. I can see my bullet in here. I am going to move the chronograph off to the side and shoot a couple more of those uh, high velocity loads because I got a piece of that chunk of wood flying back through there giving me only 130 feet per second <laughs> rating. But I definitely hit a solid chunk of that wood which is my goal there. So, your start of your expansion, going through that board and hide, and really starting to open up at about the uh, inch and a quarter mark, carrying decent uh, permanent wound cavity to the five inch mark where it really starts to open up. And then um, that seven to just over 16 inch mark is where you got to that aggressive portion of that wound cavity with the leading edge of that bullet at 22 and 7 eighths. So let me just set this guy over and get a reading here. Twenty five thirty four. One more through there. And twenty five seventy three. So second when it impacted the gel. I don't know if you can see it in this video but it is a stupid cold day out here today and I transport my gel blocks in coolers to keep the integrity correct in the gel for accurate results and they're steaming pretty good. But uh, there's the uh, 168 grain Acubon long range. Shot out of a short barrel 308. Overall, I'm pleased with these results, but I've been using these bullets hunting for a while. And yeah, absolutely love them 
on the business end because they're one of the few lead core bullets that's not partitioned that actually performs very good in a very broad spectrum of velocities. When they're rated down to 1300 feet per second, um, I have had failures in the 30 cals that low. You want them a little bit higher than what Nozzler actually rates them down to, but they can impact gel at over 3,000 feet per second, still do what you need them to do, clear down almost all the way down to that uh, 1,300 feet per second and still do what you need them to do. I really think when it comes to the uh, lead core bullets, Nosler trying to answer the call for long range while also not losing the integrity of the bullet and being able to ethically take that close range shot knowing your bullet's not just going to grenade have uh, really set a new bar with these bullets. <laughs>